Yeah, it's actually turning into a very pleasant afternoon. Certainly a lot warmer than where we were at this time yesterday. So decent day today. Overall should be a pretty decent day tomorrow, but we still have a couple of rain chances that will be in the forecast. We'll highlight those in a second. First, let's take a look outside. This is our live radar shot that shows a cluster of uh, showers, some of which have been on the heavier side right near the uh, Snoqualmie Pass area. I want to zoom in a little bit closer right here. Uh, some of these have been dissipating over the last hour or so, but did bring some heavy rain to places like North North Bend, uh, the Mount Si area, mostly pretty rural areas up in the Cascade foothills, but it's pretty much the only game in town as far as wet weather at the moment. And if you have a clear view facing eastward, you'll see some of these cumulus clouds developing and again dropping some heavier rain. But most of us are looking at pretty dry weather as we head into this evening. And speaking of dry, is that grass already brown at the Shortcrest High School there? How about that? Uh, all right, so we do have numerous rain chances in the forecast over the next couple of days, especially, unfortunately, as we head into the upcoming week weekend. There's a big trough of low pressure hanging out uh, in the northeastern Pacific. This is going to move over us over the weekend, giving us chances for rain both Saturday and Sunday, with the better chance arriving on Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon. It looks like the wettest part of the weekend. Uh, for comparison, here's today's high temperatures. Most of us did make it into the lower 70s. Some of the warmer places include Puyallup, 75 degrees for a high, tying eastern Washington parts. Of, uh, you can see Wenatchee hit 75 degrees as well. Tomorrow's forecast, a little bit cooler. I do think there will be some more cloud cover and uh, probably a couple more showers later tomorrow afternoon. But uh, for the most part, I'm thinking tomorrow should be on the drier side, uh, upper 60s to near 70 for forecast highs. The better chances for rain, uh, the lower the pollen count is going to be. This is po uh, today's pollen count from the Northwest Asthma and Allergy Center. You can see we're in the middle of grass season and weed season on the moderate side. With more rain later Friday and into the weekend, that pollen count is going to be lowering. Here's your seven day forecast. Still near 70 for a high on Thursday, but mostly cloudy and most of the rain chances kind of like what we're seeing today will be up in the Cascades and in the foothills. Better chance for rain on Friday. Look for increasing rain pretty wet towards the afternoon. Showers mixed with sun breaks on Saturday. Temperatures will be cooler this weekend. Lower to middle 60s both Saturday and Sunday. New weather system giving us some wet weather on Monday but by the middle part of next week especially Thursday Friday I do expect there to be warmer temperatures and also lesser chances for rain and I do want to mention one more thing. Uh, at any rain we see this time of year is actually delaying the start of wildfire season. So I'm welcoming the rain because guys, the dry season's just a couple weeks away. Back to you. Yeah, we need the rain. I, I, I am someone who really loves the sunshine, Ben. And Joyce, you know this. I would like it to be sunny 365 days a year, but we need the rain and it makes it just so beautiful in this area. Wow. Well, the so Northwest green. weather yeah. so classic. Yep. A little of this, a little of that. I'm starting right. to appreciate it. Well, good. Yeah. Hey, let's get to Paul in sports.